now the most important thing when it comes to the test is that you just understand the why of why you're doing a test right so um, in the videos I go over the impingement signs um, so when it's a rotator cuff you're gonna look for impingement signs um, and there's there's two different types of tests and then you're gonna um, you can do the Job's test or the empty can right that's looking for you're looking for impingements or you're looking for tears then there's the belly press test um, and then you are going to look for the lag signs so in this particular chapter when they talk about the lag sign they're talking about you're going to place someone in external rotation and if they can't um, hold that external rotation that it's most likely an infraspinatus tendon tear if there's a certain amount of lag the other lag um, that they talk about is a horn blower's lag. And the horn blower's lag is this, where you, they're gonna be an abduction and you, you're trying to get them to go into and hold that, go into external rotation in that abduction uh, position. It's horn blower's um, test. And if they can't do that, that's more indicative of a Terry's minor tear. So I forgot what chapter that was. It was in the rotator cuff chapter but when you read there are certain things that should kind of like stand out to you and it's things like that I think that's important because on the test they could they could ask you certain questions like what tests would be best <laughs> if you suspected a tear here and then they're gonna give you three different tests or four different tests, you can rule two out, but what if one of them was like these lag tests? But one is going to be more indicative of a infraspinatus tear, which is the external rotation one, or horn blowers, which is more of a teres minor. That came straight from the book. So when you're, when you're reading, that's, that's what kind of jumps out at me and how if I think through like what's important, how they're gonna ask me, it's, that's how, you know, you're gonna somehow be able to apply it, you know? Um, does that make sense? So, um, so when, you, when you understand like, oh, okay, this, this, um, this muscle helps with external rotation, which test is going to test external rotation? So then when you read the test questions, it's going to come down to, okay, well that test is going to test for external rotation. I know these two muscles do external rotation. The infraspinatus and the teres minor do ex external rotation, whereas the subscap I know does internal rotation. So if that's one of the questions and the question's all about external rotation, then subscap is out. <laughs>